Hello my friends, I'm Clover and this is Genuinely Approachable Sudoku and this morning we are solving Time Keeps on Slippin' by Philip Newman. This is a diagonal Sudoku. That means we have standard Sudoku rules, so we're placing the digits 1 through 9 once each in each row, each column, and each outlined 3x3 three three region. And in addition to that we have two diagonals that are marked in blue. And along each of these diagonals, we also have to place the digits 1 through 9 once each. And that's it. So the first thing I notice is that I have 2 and 3 here, 2 and 3 here. So where am I going to put 2 and 3 in row 2? Right there. That leaves us with 1 and 4 to finish off the row. I have 4 and 5 here, 4 and 5 here. So where am I going to put 4 and 5 in this row? They have to go right here. That makes these 2 and 3. And I have a 3 here, so that's going to make this digit a 2 and a 3. And because of the diagonal constraint, this can no longer be a 2, so that's going to be a 3 with a 2. I have a 3 right here. That means 3 can't go in any of these cells, so 3 has to go there. And these are going to be 1, 2, and 6, so this has to be a 7 to finish the row. Similarly, these will be 1, 5, and 9. And I actually will mark those this time because I want you to notice there's a 5, 9 here and there's a 1 there. Actually, I can do the same thing down here because there's a 2, 6 pair here, which makes this a naked 1. And now that shows us that in this row, we still have a 4 and a 6 to place. And because there's a 1, 4 pair here, that's going to have to be the 6 and that's going to be the 4. The 4 resolves this into a 5 and a 4. And because of the diagonal constraint, this can no longer be our 4, so that must be a 1 with a 4 right here. So now I'm going to turn my attention to the diagonals. So here I still need a 1, 6, and 9. And here I still need a 6, 8, and 9. That's going to be a 1. That can't be a 9. So along this diagonal, I still need 5, 6, 8, and 9. This can't be an 8. Oh, and this is actually going to resolve because I have a 2 here, which makes this a 6 and a 2. And that's not a 6, so that's going to be a 5, 9 pair. This cell can't contain 5, 8, or 9 because those appear in the column. So this is going to be a naked 6, which makes this cell on the diagonal an 8. And I can eliminate 6 and 8 from right there. And I can also eliminate 8 from these cells. The 6 in column 9 makes this a 9 and a 6 right here. Now over here, I still need 1, 2, and 7 in this region. For a couple reasons, this cell can't be a 1. So what else do I need here? I have 1, 3, 4, and 6, so I need 2, 5, 7, 8, and 9. These can't be 2, nor can they be 5 or 9 because of the 5, 9 pair. So that makes those a 7, 8 pair, which resolves immediately because I have a 7 here. And that gives me my 8 and my 7. So this can't be 7 or 8. This can't be 7 or 8, so that is a 2. And so that can't be a 2. And now finally we're going to get to resolve our 5s and 9s because there's a 9 in this region already. So that's a 5, a 9, a 5, a 9, and a 5. Neither of these are going to be 1. The 7 here resolves my 1 and my 7. My last two digits here are going to be 3 and 4. And my last two digits here are going to be 7 and 8 in that order. All right, now let's hunt down what we need to do to finish off these last two regions. So I'm scanning, trying to find anything that's particularly restricted here. I don't see anything here. Aha, right here I have a naked 8. That's the only digit that can go in that cell. And here I need, I have a naked 2. Here I don't believe, oh, nope, I have a naked 7. And then these are going to be 3 and 4. In row 5, I need to place a 2 in one of those cells. 2 can't go there, so it goes right there. And I need a 1, 5, and 6. That's a naked 6. That's a 1, and that is a 5. That makes this a 1. And we are coming along now. We need a 4 and a 9 there. We need a 3 and a 7 right there. The 3 resolves this. 
The last two digits here are going to be 6 and 8. And this is going to be 5 and 9. And that is how you solve Philip Newman's Time Keeps on Slipping. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you want to solve it yourself, the link to do so is in the description of this video. And I will see you again in three days.